Sorry, I know it's probably rude to eat ice cream in front of you, but uh, the internet is in the way, so I can't offer you any. Otherwise, I would. A brilliant cartoonist once said, life is what happens to us while we're making other plans. Al pal, there are no truer words. If you're watching this video, that means you have a life, and if you have a life, then you know life is complicated. Detailed. As the youth of today say, a little much. Mm, my teeth. Well, if there's one area we can really be caught off guard, it's money. Like, seriously, why are we paying for summer camp in November? Who, who decided this? <laughs> I thought I had months to prepare. So, today we're gonna do a little pre-game work. That's right, life, we're coming at ya. Today I'm naming 12, no, 13 weird expenses you've been forgetting about, and you know what? It's about time you add it to your budget. Oh no! <laughs> First up, we have new tires. Woof. If you aren't prepared for this one, holy cows and cattle, that's a sucker punch right to the wallet there. Replacing one tire alone costs anywhere from $100 to $300, so if you're needing to replace all four, make sure you start socking away money for this expense and now. Stat. On that note, another way to make sure you are getting the most out of your tires before they poop out is investing in the occasional tire rotation. I learned this lesson big time with my last set of tires. Never got them rotated, and as my dad put it, my two front tires were bald while my two back tires still had quite a bit of life left in them. If I had rotated them at some point, they would have worn down a little more evenly and I probably could have gotten a few more months out of those tires, so lesson learned. Second, we have oil changes. It's recommended you change your oil at least twice a year, and if you're budgeting for them, you're less likely to put them off, which means your car engine will be much happier, which also means theoretically you're spending less money in car repairs. I said theoretically. I'd highly recommend keeping both oil changes and new tires as separate categories from your car repair category, as both of these expenses are guaranteed and expected, while car repairs are random and unpredictable. Think of your car repair category as your car's emergency fund, while these other two categories are some of your car's true expenses. Third expense you're forgetting to budget for is roadside assistance. If I had a dollar for every person I heard rave about having a AAA membership, I would have anywhere between five and eight dollars, which is a lot, considering that I don't indulge the topic of roadside assistance too often, so take it or leave it. A membership for one of these types of services appears to cost between about $40 and $170 a year, and could be a real lifesaver for your wallet if you have a finicky car or tend to drive a lot of long distances. So don't rule it out, it's also not necessary. But if I had a dollar, every time. Fourth, we have my favorite, pet boarding. Whether you take your pet to a boarding facility while you're out of town or just have a neighborhood kid come over a few times a day to let the pups out, this can be a massive hit to a budget that's not prepared for it. I just got back from a week in New Orleans and dropped a healthy amount of money to have the best doggy daycare in the world take care of my juju beans for eight days while I was gone. Best money I spent all year. Woof's play and stay, you the best. Also, past budgeting Hannah, you also the best. Thanks for thinking ahead. Number five seems kind of lame, but I just had to buy printer ink. And shoot, I just wasn't planning on needing 58 extra dollars to be able to print one document. If you're a hefty printer, definitely build a category for this in your budget and perhaps even look into an ink subscription service because they tend to be a lot cheaper if you're buying it routinely. Sixth on our list is renewals. This category can be customized to whatever your needs are, but here's a couple examples of common renewals that tend to catch us totally off guard. Driver's license renewals or the new real ID, passport renewal, or certification renewal for those who want to stay CPR or AED certified. <sighs> Basically any certification or something. Having a renewals category in your budget not only helps you financially prepare for those fees when they come around, 
but it also serves as a way to keep those fees on your radar. You only have to pay for a new driver's license every six years, but if even once a year the thought crosses your mind, hmm, my renewal category, am I getting close to needing that driver's license renewed? I should probably check. It might be the difference between being prepared and completely and totally caught off guard. Something to consider. Seventh, we have wedding events. Now here's the thing with weddings. There's kind of a few tiers to the cost of them. If you're just a guest, you're just attending, great. You only need to bring a gift. You can buy them a $5 napkin holder or a $500 vacuum. That's totally up to you. Next tier is the close friend. This means you're getting invited to the bridal shower or the engagement party, and that's probably another level of gifts or costs that you'll wanna have money for. Not because you need to, but because you want to, because you're the close friend, remember? Then we advance to the top tier. You're in the bridal party and you're buying a bridesmaid's dress, renting a tux, planning a bachelorette party, and you might as well get married that day yourself with how much money you've invested into this day. If you're in a season like me where a lot of your community is getting married or having weddings, or you want to be able to provide those higher ticket gifts from the registry, totally create a category for this in your budget so you can bless that couple far and wide when their big day finally comes. Another community category you might want to add to your budget, number eight, hospitality. My brother was showing me something in his budget the other day and I saw a category called bringing food. I asked about it and he said, my wife never wants to show up empty handed to an event or a gathering and we never knew how to categorize that food we were buying and bringing to social events. So now we budget for it. Brilliant. I also feel like this category is budgeting to be a better, more thoughtful person. And who doesn't want to be the person that always shows up with coffee or cookies or a housewarming gift? I'll be that person. So maybe I'm just gonna add it to my budget right now. Hospitality. The next four or five categories we'll cover are totally in the kid zone. So whether you have toddlers or teenagers, you might wanna consider some of these. Coming in at number nine, we have school supplies. Now I have vivid memories of me and my four siblings all hopping in the van, driving to Walmart, and having a list of like 20 line items that we all had to bring to each of our classes on the first day of school. Pencils, notebooks, expo markers, staples, protractors. It was a lot of stuff. Now I am all for helping teachers and contributing to the classroom. A hundred and thousand ten percent. That's not a number, but you know what I'm saying. Bless all teachers everywhere. Just reflecting back on it now though, my poor, poor mother. Buying school supplies for five kids had to feel equivalent to paying a car premium. No wonder I was never allowed to get the three-pronged folder with the glittery golden retrievers in a basket. No gel pens in this house, I'm telling you that. In addition to school supplies, if your kid attends a school with uniforms, I don't need to tell you twice that kids grow every year and yeah, you're gonna need to buy some new uniforms. 10 budgeting for school events. Just to stress you out and name a few, a dress for your daughter for junior prom. Your third grader has to bring Valentine's for his class of 25. Your graduating senior needs a cap and gown. Your freshman has to have the $90 yearbook they're only in twice. School ain't cheap and I truly did not realize until this very moment how much my parents were willing to invest in my happiness and extracurriculars. 11th on the list, summer camp. This expense is sneaky because more and more these days, camps are enrolling for the summer in the fall. So two months after your kid comes home from camp, you're signing them back up. Make sure you know when the fees are due for your kid's camp so you can make sure you're saving for this chunky expense on the right timeline. Number 12, swimming lessons. I did two or three summers of swimming lessons and don't even wanna think about what it was like for my mom to watch me refuse to jump off the diving board. She paid someone to teach me to jump off. But because of her investment, I am confident I could tread water for at least 30 minutes if I were ever caught in a Titanic type situation. So it was not for nothing, mom. Still won't dive head first, but it wasn't for nothing. The internet told me that swimming lessons seem to cost somewhere between $15 and $60 per session, so it is not something you wanna leave off your radar come spring. And eerily enough, Halloween costumes come in at number 13. What the? 
I know this one is not for everyone. Let's not forget the year I strung a leaf to the bill of my baseball cap and went as a leaf blower. But I've seen some of you and Halloween is like your love language. If you know you or your kids will want to invest in some elaborate costumes, do yourself a favor and start putting aside a little money for it each month in the months before October. It won't take such a hit to your bank account and it may even help you feel more confident in purchasing what you need because you know you budgeted for this exact thing. Whew, that's all of them. If there's one thing I took away from this video today, it's that I need to go treat my parents to a lovely dinner because dang, it costs a lot of money to give me a childhood. If any of these budgeting categories inspired you, go ahead and add them to your budget. And if you have your own random budgeting categories you wouldn't be caught dead without, feel free to share them in the comments below because your mama knows we need them. Thank you all so dearly for tuning in and I will catch you in the next video. Hi, yes, um, I'd like to make a reservation for three. We will take your most expensive table and your most expensive wine. I see you guys have a lava cake on the menu. Is there any way you could write like, thanks mom and dad on it with icing? Okay, well, I uh, think I might bring my own icing then. Hey, can I, can I ask you a weird question? Do you have triple A?